here we will be learning about reducing balance method of depreciation this is also known as written down value method of a depreciation that is the depreciation is charged on the wdv of an asset okay so although the accounting treatment will remain the same irrespective of the method of depreciation uh, whether it's a straight line method or wdv method but the amount of depreciation which is charged to an asset for a particular year will change okay so for referring to accounting treatment of depreciation you can see the video previous video that is video on the straight line method of depreciation wherein the accounting method accounting treatment of the depreciation is explained thoroughly okay now let's see what is wdv method of depreciation or return down value method of depreciation so in straight line method of depreciation what assumption we had made is that depreciation is charged on cost of asset okay so what assumption we are making is the same amount of depreciation is charged every year okay amount of depreciation is same so the assumption that we are making here is that the utility of asset remains same throughout the period of asset okay for example if you take a machinery worth rupees 1 lakh and say if you are charging a depreciation of 10% on straight line method you charge a depreciation of 10000 every year so you are assuming that if a asset is producing say 10000 units of goods in one year okay first year it will keep on producing the same number of units in all subsequent year now this may not be true in case of some of the assets what happens is as and when years of the asset pass by that is asset starts becoming old there will be some repairs and maintenance cost which will come to the asset right okay and it will also happen that in first year if asset is producing 10000 units next year it will produce 9000 units next year it will produce 8500 units and so on okay so the utility of the asset that is the use of asset is reducing as and when the year passes by so in wdv method what we are doing is we are charging a depreciation on the return down value of an asset okay now we will see this with an example now here is an example okay mr hari purchased a machinery worth rupees 1 lakh on 1st jan 2016 rate of depreciation is 10% so when nothing is given we have to assume rate of depreciation is 10% per annum he sold the machinery on 1st jan 2019 for rupees 65000 calculate depreciation as per straight line method and reducing balance method and also profit and loss on the sale of asset as on 1st jan 2019 okay so first put it as straight line method reducing balance method okay so cost of asset on 1st jan 2016 how much is this 1 lakh reducing balance method also 1 lakh okay less depreciation for the year 2016 okay so as per straight line method 10% on original cost that comes to 10% of 1 lakh rupees how much is that 
ten thousand. Since the machinery has been there for a year, the depreciation will be charged for all the twelve months. Okay. So as per reducing balance method also, the first year there is no WDV of an asset or return on value of the asset. So for the first year, the depreciation will be ten percent of one lakh. That is ten thousand. Okay. So for the first year, the depreciation will be same. As per SLM as well as RBM. Now ninety thousand, ninety thousand is the WDV of asset as on thirty-one twelve two thousand sixteen. Okay. Now less depreciation. For the year two thousand seventeen, correct. Now here it will be SLM, so ten percent of one lakh rupees, that comes to ten thousand. Here it will be ten percent of ninety thousand. WDV as on thirty one twelve two thousand sixteen was ninety thousand. The same will be carry forward as on first Jan two thousand seventeen. So ten thousand ten percent of ninety thousand that comes to nine thousand rupees. So WDV as on thirty one twelve two thousand seventeen. Here it is eighty thousand. Year ninety thousand minus nine thousand that comes to eighty one thousand. Okay. So moving further, less depreciation for the year two thousand eighty. Okay. Here it will be ten percent of one lakh. That comes to ten thousand. Here it will be ten percent of eighty one thousand. That comes to eight thousand one hundred. So eighty thousand minus ten thousand, seventy thousand, eighty one thousand minus eight thousand one hundred comes to. Eight hundred. Okay. Comes to seventy two nine hundred. Okay. So now WDV as on thirty one twelve two thousand eighteen. Is seventy thousand as per straight line method and seventy two nine hundred as per reducing balance method. Now, if you see the example, the machinery is been sold on one one two thousand nineteen for sixty five thousand. So, if we just see, as on thirty one twelve two thousand eighteen, the WDV is this. So, the same WDV will be on one one two thousand nineteen. So machinery is sold for sixty-five thousand. So we'll calculate the profit and loss. So this is WDV as on one one two thousand nineteen less sale price of machinery sixty-five thousand sixty. Five thousand. Okay, so since it has been sold at a lesser price, that is the selling price is less than WDV, it will be loss. Loss on sale of machinery. Machinery. Okay. In case of straight line method, now in case of reducing balance method also seventy to nine hundred minus sixty five thousand 
right so how much does it come to 912 minus five. so that comes to 7900 loss so you can see that the loss on sale of machinery in rbm is greater than the loss of sale of machinery in slm that is straight line method now these two are the main methods of depreciation which are used okay so there are many other methods of depreciation depending on the nature of the machinery and the nature of the business so we'll be seeing it in our later sessions one by one now let's understand what is the difference between the straight line method and the reducing balance method now let's see the difference between straight line method and the reducing balance method in straight line method the rate and amount of depreciation is same okay but in reducing balance method even though the rate of depreciation is same the amount of depreciation changes okay why because depreciation rate is charged on the cost of asset in case of straight line method whereas in reducing balance method the depreciation is charged on wdv of an asset that is return down value of an asset then the value of the asset in case of straight line method at the end of its life may be zero or equal to its scrap value but in case of reducing balance method the value of asset will never be equal to zero then fourth this is very important it is based on the assumption that the utility of asset will remain the same throughout the life of an asset as i explained earlier now in the straight line method the basic assumption that is made that is the utility of asset will remain the same throughout the life of an asset but in reducing balance method we assume that the utility of an asset will decrease as and when the uh, age of the asset goes on increasing and at the same time in the initial years of the asset the repairs and maintenance cost will be less whereas as and when the age of the asset increases the repairs and maintenance cost will be higher that is the assumption that we are making in a reducing balance method okay now let's see how to calculate the rate of depreciation or formula for calculating rate of depreciation in case of reducing balance method okay now let's see the formula for calculating the rate of depreciation as per reducing balance method okay so rate of depreciation as per reducing balance method is equal to 1 minus scrap value or you can say residual value of an asset at the end of its estimated life okay divide by original cost of asset okay the whole raised to 1 by number of estimated useful life of asset okay and then we need to calculate the percentage so the so the entire thing needs to be multiplied by 100 okay to find the percentage of depreciation so let's take an example let's say Mm, the useful life is estimated useful life is three years. Okay, then the residual value of asset is residual value of the asset is. Seventy two nine hundred at the end of three years, and cost of asset is 
one lakh okay so as per the formula it is one minus seventy two nine hundred divide by one lakh okay the whole raised to one by how many In the useful life is three okay the entire thing multiplied by hundred so if you calculate this this comes to minus zero point nine into hundred so that is point one into hundred that is ten percent so rate of depreciation is ten percent so this is just an example which we had seen earlier that is dif in difference between slm and uh, reducing balance method okay so we have just cross check that example to find if the rate of depreciation comes same okay so that's it about reducing balance method or wdv method thank you